This is Kane and Lynch 2, a video game for those of you who like your action-packed shooters, lewd, crude, obnoxious, and deliberately over the top. This game is heavily inspired by action films, and if you've ever felt the need to play through one of the old-school John Woo classics like Hard Boiled, where there's non-stop gunfire and bodies flying everywhere, then this is one you should look at. But be forewarned, at times it feels like it's just being intentionally obnoxious, lewd, and crass. While it's got some terrific shootouts and it's technically impressive, its need to grab your attention by being distasteful tears out the charm which made so many of the action films which clearly inspired this game entertaining to begin with, which leaves a giant void in the middle of Kane and Lynch 2 which is simply not filled. Kane and Lynch are unlikable. They're not heroes, they're not even competent criminals. So from a storyline perspective, this doesn't even hold a candle to such classics as The Killer, a candle in a church surrounded by doves and bullets, of course. Like so many video games, this strips away character development in favor of non-stop action. And even though it's a short campaign, I think they could have made these guys more likable considering this is a game with a cinematic style. Beneath the constant shaking camera work, which you can turn off if you don't like it, this is a fairly standard camera over the shoulder style action game. It's very similar to others that we've seen this generation like Wanted Weapons of Fate, Splinter Cell Conviction, and even a bit like Gears of War, duck and cover, shoot when the enemy's heads are up, Enter a warehouse where you know there's going to be a gunfight, shoot it out, move on to the next location. But credit where credit's due, the developers do a nice job of masking that fairly standard style of gameplay with some clever, well-executed stylistic decisions that constantly remind the player of this game's cinematic influences. Most notably, the very creative use of a wide-angle lens that looks like it's from some kind of handy cam shooting the entire video game Handheld, which when you're running and trying to move quickly feels completely out of control, adding to a sense of tension. You know, they did a great job with that. Seriously. I don't like the characters, but I do love the style. But is style enough to warrant picking up a copy of Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days? The storyline where Kane and Lynch fight it out against the entire Shanghai underworld, cops and military forces, who I actually felt bad for near the end of the game. It's like, what these guys do? They're just getting caught in the crossfire. In addition to that, you do get co-op gameplay locally or online. There's an arcade mode, which is okay, where you're playing as criminals and terrorists, basically racking up points, if you're into that. You also get multiplayer, and there's some downloadable content. Beneath the lens effects, handheld camera work, and intentionally grainy, gritty style, Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days is a very standard, predictable shooter. You'll never run out of bullets, and it does pack some awesome gunfights, but I can't help but constantly think about the movies that inspired this and the message that was lost. Because there's a reason that some truly amazing films can captivate an audience for two hours and make them root for, empathize for, and cheer for violent sociopathic criminals who lay waste to an entire city. It's called character development. And when that's lost, at the end of Kane and Lynch 2, I was left wondering why. And why haven't these guys just been run over by a truck? If you like duck and cover style shooters like Splinter Cell Conviction and Wanted Weapons of Fate, then Kane and Lynch 2 is worth a look. Otherwise, I've got a stack of movies here I'll recommend. Think of it as the classic game room summer watching list. Chow Yun Fat in Code of Honor, A Better Tomorrow 1, A Better Tomorrow 2, Last Hurrah for Chivalry, Master of the Flying Guillotine, I always recommend that one, Five Deadly Venoms, Enter the 36th Chamber of Shaolin, Bullet in the Head, another John Woo classic, The Killer, Hard Boiled, Once a Thief, Infernal Affairs, and the movie which clearly inspired the look of Lynch, the Michael Mann classic, Heat. And I know I forgot some, like Time and Tide, that's got some cool camera work and gunfights in it. Jinro, that's anime, but uh, many of those movies are Asian action films, some martial arts classics. Anyway, they're good examples of action and storytelling. This game is just a good example of action. Technically solid, nice gunfights. It's Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days.